Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we just dropped off this truck here with all the uh, bits and pieces of wood on there. So what I'm going to do is offload it with the Paluta here and pile it up. And then I think what we'll do is actually go grab a logging truck, bring it down here. Uh, if we have enough time, we might load it up. If not, well, at least it's in position so we can do that. So uh, we'll start things off with unloading this beast here. And everything's kind of crooked here, so we'll see how it unloads. There we go. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, at least the pile's nice. That's good. Turn this thing actually on probably helps. Oh. Oh, that's a kind of a sneaky grab. Oh, there we go, it's staying. I hate how it does that. You put too much pressure on it, it kind of floats. It's really weird. There we go. Oh, oh I think we got a crossed one in there. Here we go. You don't want crossed one, those wreck the whole pile. I think definitely packs a decent pile of wood on that uh, forwarder now. I like that. Makes it nice. There we go. Pile it up all pretty like. It's gonna be exciting. We're going to be introducing some new machinery here soon. Pretty excited about that. I'm not gonna say what, but it's coming. It's coming. I right, guys, I already told you guys about the wheel feller buncher. I mean, that's not really like a new machine. I've already had one of those before, but the uh, the remake's quite nice. Turned out really well. Looks really good, and uh, it's uh, it's still got a little bit of cutting issues with the head. I got to work out, but for the most part, yeah, it, it handles really well, like surprisingly well. Better than the previous version, that's for sure. There we go. And then we should be able to just shuffle this guy up to here. And do one really nice grab right from the back. And just pick it all up. Beauty. I'd say we got more than enough shorts here to start uh, putting them on a truck. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to get this forwarder out of the way here. So I'm just going to park the forwarder in the bush here. Into there, maybe not that sharp. That one tire off the ground, so it's pivoting. Whatever, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this truck here, and then we will bring it uh, back to base there. I'm gonna go grab it. Actually, you know what I'll do? Screw it. I'll just buy a new truck because we have that um, log trailer there already. Oops. There we go. Yeah, then we'll just hook on and bring it out there. That sounds like more fun. Right on. Bring it on down. I remember Shark Hunter Gaming told me the reason my mirrors are blacking out is because I have to uh, crank up the amount of mirrors allowed in the game or something. 
I just haven't gotten around to it, but I might do it after uh, this video. Uh, here we are. What I would like to do is go up this hill a little bit. Maybe turn around up here. I think there's a crossroad here somewhere. I'm gonna clear that. Just barely cleared it. And I'm gonna turn around over this crossroad. So maybe what I'll do is go up this road. And back it up the other side. If I can. What I should do is cut myself a turnaround, but we haven't got around to that far yet. We're not that good yet. <laughs> I can't believe we cleared that tree just barely. This big old pile of shorts here. Uh, so what I'll probably have to do... I don't know if that'll clear it from there or not. Hmm. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if that's enough distance to be able to load them, is it? Well, maybe. We might be able to do it. Let's try it. feeling these aren't five meter logs. Am I not cutting fives? What have I been cutting? Maybe they're fives. This seem really long for some reason. These are going to be kind of ugly loads just because we can't really pencil the loads together because... This thing is not a fixed head and they don't pencil very well, so. We're just gonna splat them on there and call it good. I think there's a good picture to be had here somewhere. Just gotta find the spot. Hmm. Where's the picture? Where's the good shot from? How about right there? That's alright, I guess. It's alright-ish. If it's the thumbnail, you know it worked out. <laughs> I was thinking more of something like, well, it's in the air. I don't like one of those. That's a little bit better. Sure. Sure, why not? Let's trickle this on top of here. Do these feel more like six meter logs? Not fives. There we go. Okay. Let's lock that, pull it ahead a bit. And the, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to try to shove them ahead as far as I can, but I think that back stake is, they're going to lean off of it pretty hard here. Like I said, we'll try. We'll see what happens. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty load. I wonder if there's a way I can, like, somehow... Kind of tap it up a bit. Tap it against that other pile because they're locked, maybe. Hmm, whatever. What about what if I can tap it for the actual claw? I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. Oh, a little bit. Oops. I'm just trying to get a little bit of space. So I don't want them hanging off that back bunk too, too much. So this is the difference between a dangle head versus the fixed head. Because the fixed head, I can just push them all over. This one, you got to be a little bit more finicky with. And also, when the piles aren't perfectly straight, you can't really, can't really cinch them up, which is kind of bad. 
But what you can do, I guess, is maybe swing it in. That helps it a bit. I don't know. I gotta go see how uh, real operators do it on dangle heads. They probably... I wonder if they bang the side of the thing against it. I guess one thing I could do is bang it against the side of that other load if it's really off. That one's actually pretty good. Not that you need to do anything with that. There we go. Boom. Boom, Shekerla. And we grab that. And this one a little bit. I don't want a whole bunch. Just sprinkle a little bit on top and that should be good. There we go. Oop. That looks good enough for that one. And then that back bunk's going to be real hangy. <laughs> Not the world's prettiest load, that's for sure. Brought back a lot of wood, though. I have to look at that... Uh... Jekyll and see what we're actually cutting here. It just feels like these are longer than fives. For sure. I have a feeling we might have been cutting sixes. Or maybe they are fives. I don't know. They just seem really long. Maybe we'll have to cut fours if these are fives. I love loading. I could do this all day. If trucks just kept coming by and I had an unloaded pile of wood, I could just do this all day long. I love it. I like it a lot. Grab just a little bite out of here just to pinch on top of that, finish it off. Boop. It's not very balanced, but I think we'll make it. Just gotta go slow. If I whip it too hard, it might uh, I'll trickle out the front, and I don't want that. There we go. Right on, buddy, right on. Okay, looks good. And then we got a little section here where we can put the new stuff after we forward it back. Okay. So we lock that up. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're cutting her pretty close here. So maybe I'll leave this uh, just off to the side here and we'll uh, bring it back in the next video. It's a tight load, but it uh, looks alright. Looks good to me. Ooh, it's actually a really pretty picture. I like that. Gorgeous. Oops. Alrighty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, save her here. Uh, when we come back, maybe we'll do some more cutting, and we'll bring that load to the mill as well. So, yeah, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. Don't forget to comment and hit that subscribe button. You know you want it. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.